I tell them that I don't know how to use this? <laughs> now. <laughs> Everything seems like a really long process when we go to work on the bus because we got to pack everything up and then we have to drive 50 minutes out to Monica's parents' place where the bus is located before we can even begin to start working on the bus. Now, I don't want to complain too much because we're really fortunate to have a place to store our bus for free in addition to have Monica's father who is helping us build out this whole entire thing. I just got a brand new backpack that I'm going to show you and it's a low pro and it's got a side zipper on it for your laptop and that zipper so happened to be down this morning when my 15 inch macbook pro went flying out of my backpack luckily it doesn't seem to be permanently damaged i actually got this on a, a cyber monday deal but you can see that there is a side zipper pocket and that's where the laptop lives it took quite the spill. From this point on, I'm gonna do my best to move forward. My laptop is in one piece. We got our passenger seat. We're getting our act together and we're getting out to work on the bus. We're gonna be purchasing a lot of materials today. So another Lowe's run. So most likely I'll destroy another retail store. Look forward to that. One hour later. And if you need a cup rest, Monica can just bend forward and you can fold it. <laughs> well, look behind, look between your seat. There you go. Now you're living. We got it all. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, I don't know how much swivel we're eating. Do you want to stay here or do you want to go? I want to go. Okay. She's if going. You'll, if you'll invite me. I would love to go. <laughs> Cole has said 15 times, me and your dad are going to go to Lowe's, and I'm like, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> she feels like an orphan child. I do. <laughs> He's my dad, not yours. She's <laughs> really tired. I didn't know if you wanted a nap. I don't nap very nicely. I had a cookie feeling awake. <laughs> I, was, Chocolate chip cookie. I, was, I was wondering what changed. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Uh, I was just getting the screw. If you're looking at batteries, you should look at ones that already have like the terminal on top of them, not the ones that are flat. Because I don't think there's a big cost difference. I just think it matters on your application. But not that this is an issue, but I had to purchase the screw separately that plugged in here. And then uh, I was just opening up the windows because it smells like moist ass in here right now. <laughs> Trip number 963 to Lowe's. Cole wishes that we could just go to Lowe's one time and have everything that we need. I just, I don't think that's realistic, but I do think <laughs> if we better planned, we would eliminate a few of our trips that we take. You to might, but you're also just going to increase the amount of stuff you're going to bring back. Lowe's three. trip, take two. Cole's yeah. happier now because he's got a fully charged battery. Yeah, Unless... Do you have your wallet? Do you have your phone? Battery ran out on us before we got anywhere. So... You got your butt. I don't. I don't have my butt. It's a big house. Big house. I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> Monica's making a return right now. And we're going to go look at wood. Cobalt Pro 90 Ratchet 227 piece. I would look and see how it's rated. So if there's any difference between the two, I don't know if there is, to be honest with you. I think all the crap's made in China. Nothing against the Chinese. No, they have great food. They do. Like this. Is this how expensive it is? Is it $55 a sheet? Yeah. Jesus. And then go to something. Didn't know that. This will finish out uh -huh. smoother. Right. This will finish out relatively smooth, but because it's yellow pine, the grain's going to try to raise. So you may see the effect of the grain right. in the finished paint. Okay. Not, not that you'll see color changes, but they'll be, it will actually just slightly raise. 
Now, you could get by using this on just the outside right. of the two seats, and then anything that you upholster could be out of something cheaper. Right. You know, if you're that you're going to cover, and yeah. even if it's a cushion sitting on it, it doesn't have to be that gray. Right. What do you think? This price works better for me. <laughs> That's not thick enough. We need a three quarter sheet. Now you could go to yellow pine for three quarter. So I guess what's my cost difference between like 55, like what's the alternative sheet to the $55 thing? Um, well, this is just like an, uh, this is a completely unfinished type plywood. Yeah. Uh, what you see is what you get with that. I mean that, that, can you, can you, yeah. Can you explain uh, the size difference of why we'd want to use, like, to people watching this, why you'd want to use three eighths or five eighths or whatever? Like, well, the three quarters for the sides is we're going to have to mount little cleats on it for the plywood for the seats to sit on. Yeah. So if their side, sides are too thin, we're not going to get adequate yeah. uh, anchoring onto that. This is going to stay flatter. Yeah. So anything that you cut out of this is. Well, you can look at it just by the way the stuff's laying here. Yeah, if you look at the way this lays on its terrible. stack, as yeah. opposed to all the yellow pine stuff, you can see that, and the same thing will happen once you yeah. bring it home and try We'd to use a, it. Be looking like a funny house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always like to go one down. But... Yeah, all right. Okay. It is already more expensive than I thought this part was going to be. So, something to keep in mind when you're building is that the hey. wood actually costs money. What's up? It's up Why right now. Wood is up. You know. That's what she said. That's right. You are the funny one. See, like, here's a part of me that's like, let's just build it out of popsicle sticks. Say the hell with this is 1537, so this is supposed to be half inch right here. So let's get two sheets of this. This is 21, or 16, I guess. That's what this is. This is thick enough. This is for the bed. This is it gonna hold my ass? You gotta put supports across. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. You gotta get some two by fours. What are you looking for when you're looking at it? Whether they got a crown in them, gotcha. or they're twisted, like here's a real bad one. Those people. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Those so. Derby. All right. Here we go. Now we can look at the wood for the top. Yeah. And I can show you like uh, the one bys. We could make like what they call a ship lamp, where they. Part of this one is behind part of this one. It kind of, it's kind of like uh, the bigger ones. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the ship lap I was talking about. Oh, I see. So we can make that. Oh, it just okay. takes a little bit to do it. Yeah. Um, or you could buy. Now this is a this is a tongue and groove. This has actually okay. got a, a groove that's going to go. Yeah. On. So you can use this flat this way yeah or you could use it with this side yeah yeah i like the look of that yeah um so these are like 15 bucks a piece oh as opposed to like the one buys are like four or five bucks a piece and we could we could mill it ourselves right okay um that's fine then what's 11 times three and a half 30, uh, 38. Clear. 30, 38. Nope. <laughs> 38 and a half. Do we like them to be chipped? Uh, they don't have to be. <laughs> but, like, but, I, just, no. I don't know if it, it No, but is, as long as we're, have looking a good side. For, what we're looking for is a one good side with both edges. You think nowadays. So why don't you two guys look at those? You think nowadays I could get wood with two good sides that loves, right? You'd think. Make sure it doesn't have a twist, like from this end to the other. This one doesn't. It's just got a gentle swoop this way, which is not gonna hurt anything. Well, this one's real nice. Mm -hmm. that, that first one's a keeper. Okay. Keeper. So what we're looking for here 
is closed tight knots. Okay, this is a good tight knot. That's a tight knot. We don't want stuff like this. I can stick my finger in. So it really doesn't matter um, what width we buy these because we're going to rip it into narrow pieces and keep alternating the grain so that uh, it'll be more stable. Yeah. So these knots are okay here. This looks good here. Now just look down the board and make sure, Cole, that it doesn't do one of these numbers down through there. Okay. Yeah. So I'd say that's candidate number one. Is there anything worse than a drug dealer trying to pass off bad drugs is a wood person trying to pass off bad wood. <laughs> wood person. Wood person. <laughs> I'm made of wood. <laughs> This one looks kind of nice. I think we can go home and make something. Yay! So we need to get the electrical lugs. Okay. So let's park this out in the aisle down here somewhere out of the way. Wow. Back at the scene of the crime. Here's four grade. Four gauge. Four grade dog. You want to pull your bolt out? There you go. I'll be okay. Yep. So Monica just went to run to customer service all the way down there because we were charged for two extra boards than what we got. So that happens. So that came out to be $350, that bill. But that was also because we got charged twice for plywood. So what was that, an extra 60 bucks they overcharged us on? Roughly, yeah. So even $300 as far as wood, just to be clear, I did budget materials within the budget for the bus build. It's just, I didn't budget the exact amount of what the materials would cost. I just made sure our, our build items came out lower to be lower than our projected budget we had in place. And I think that I did that by like $800. So I do have building costs built into our whole conversion process, but it's very non-specific. But you know, they tell you when you build a house, add 10 to 15% if you're building a house. Oh yeah. Well, that'd be pretty, and, pretty accurate then to and, what we and, did. You know, there's always gonna be overages, you know, few people, unless you get a quote from somebody, few people figure tax, yeah. uh, or freight, or special order costs, uh, you know, if there's if there's things like that, you know, in your case, you don't have any contractors other than me. So I mean, when you get done paying me five thousand for helping you, yeah, yeah, you know, what's that gonna do to the budget? It's gonna blow us out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming straightly out of your pocket. Yeah. What, what do you see? Uh, Excuse me. Oh God. Hey, do you have Wi-Fi on that? <laughs> yeah. You do, so I can send it to my cam my phone. If you want to set it up, I don't know how to use it. Let's do it. It's handy. She's so cute. Hi. Hi. So 38 inches was your magic number. Yes. For me being super straight as, as I could be. To the sitting, top of his head. Sitting on the bed. Yep. Sitting on the mattress. On the yep. bottom, the bottom of the mattress. Of the mattress. Yeah. Well, to make it easy, it's 68 inches. So that means we got 30 inches left. Underneath? Underneath. 30 inches plus your 10 inch mattress. An uncompressed mattress, you're gonna be that high. Wow. When do I tell them that I don't know how to use this? <laughs> now. <laughs> let's, okay. let's learn how to use the saw. Release the secret weapon! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that, you remember it. Okay, so then you squeeze this button underneath. That's what moves it. Make sure it's locked in at zero. Now, we'll get you something cold. Let's get some blocks yeah. so that you can Prop set up, up underneath this. Um, I don't know where the best spot to get them are going to be from, but. We put the person with the most experience in charge of this part, so I'm, I'm glad to take the reins. <laughs>
crazy. Zabby. What's up? What's up? Zabby. Yeah, you don't really want to watch anything as far as exactly how I'm doing this, other than this is what doing we're doing it. to build it. That's half the battle is just doing it. And if you lose a couple fingers in the process, it's all about the experience. Hello. Oh, damn. But it would be easier if he said. <laughs> he has a variable speed. Fuck. Yeah, it didn't like go. Like, look at this thing. Look at it wobble. Yeah. Oh, you want to do a tip holder? Is that the problem? Mm -hmm. You got a little tip holder? <laughs> the fuck is going on over here? Come on, stay lined up, you piece of shit. I can hold it for you. I've offered. You know what I want? <laughs> I, don't I want know. you to do this grace right <laughs> so the Lord will allow us to keep winning them games. Look, I like the baby version the best. Do you hear me? I win the races and I get the money. Ricky. Going great. I'm almost done with the first one, Jim. Good to hear. We're gonna put the camera down because Monica's gonna give up on videotaping, so I'm sorry. The entertainment's gonna end because I know you're <laughs> enjoying learning so much from me. So. You're choking him, Uncle. <laughs> Be a shame for you to die before this is done. <laughs> so Monica's gonna go ahead and match. My beautiful side that I did. Show the people how it's done. I mean, it's hard to be worse than me. Well, this goes out to any Craig representative in the central Missouri area. They allow you to drive your screws sideways? Yeah. So it's made to, so you can, it gives you the perfect hole, perfect angle to join two pieces of wood together hmm. of the same thickness. This one here goes right here on this line, flush on this end. And, you know, with that line there. Okay. You don't like the screw gun either, huh? Now, if you squeeze the trigger lightly, it'll go slow. Oh. Once you get it started, then you can squeeze it. Down. Studs are an inch and a half too long. These these here are. <coughs> you got your tape on you, Cole? Yeah, totally. Be right back. That take two inches off of these. So we'll pull the four out of the top of this. Gotcha. And I cut them off in my okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. That is the height, that is, yeah, that is the full height it will be. Yeah. Okay, you're like you're giving them an up close look of my neck. It's like my there neck. You know. My arm doesn't get any longer. So I thought you were taking a piss over there. <laughs> <laughs> the boat is. <laughs> the boat is. <laughs> Mighty stream it ass. Hello everyone. We're here from the future we to do this outro. Yeah, the, the outro that we did for this conversion episode got ruined because of super windy conditions. So we're hoping this is gonna be better. Potentially. <laughs> well, we just wanted to pop in and tell you 
what. <laughs> I forgot already. Cole and I have been really feeling the love lately from our supporters, so we just wanted to pop in and say thank you guys for just being here and supporting our journey. Um, if you've been following along for a while and feel inclined to, you know, keep this thing going. <laughs> <laughs> what Monica is trying to say is that there is multiple ways that you guys can support us down in the description. Um, the most direct way is on our website where we have a donate page set up through PayPal. We also want to remind you that all of our build items are down below in the description through our Amazon affiliate links. And we also have a link below for our Etsy thrift shop, which we're continually trying to find items for. Um, but it's a really fun way for us to resell. And I, I love finding old shit that is really cool <laughs> and offering it to people. And it has become a great way to support us now. Yes. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Um, for the next video... We are actually going to do a poll, so keep a lookout for that, and you guys get to vote which type of video you guys want to see next. Since we have over a thousand subscribers, we can do community posts now, which give us the ability to do polls, and you guys can then vote on what you'd like me to edge together next for you. Yep. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.